to be out Monday. Um, I got the panel in. Oops, sorry for the glare. All clamped in on the wheel well, all the way around. Um, the rocker panel, uh, where the metal meets the rocker panel, it's seeming to fit good, like I did. On the other side, I'm actually going to stitch this across and make this like a nice uh, shaped look to it. I still got a little bit of a roundness here on that old piece of steel that was uh, on the door pillar. I got to somehow get a dolly in there, try to square it off. Um, so far, the gap hasn't really moved too much. The door might have to cock out a little bit on the bottom, which will benefit me here because for the buildup that I have to do on, on this side, I'm going to have to pull this door out. So that's going to actually work out great. Um, it's all zip screwed in. That's the only way I could get the panel lay down flat. Uh, I'm not worried too much about it because I'm just going to weld it up and close all those holes up. Uh, I made some reference points for me from this mark all the way to this mark. I'm going to flange it right across. And then on this little uh, radius here and he, where he made a relief cut, I'm going to scribe it all in and butt weld this. Um, I did the same thing on the other side and it came out alright. Um, same thing here, I'm just going to scribe this along this edge and down. Uh, i got some hammer work to do right here. I don't know if it's picking it up, you see the little wooby? i got to get that, when I get the panel off I'm going to try to hammer that flatter. And then I'm going to draw this in like this and butt weld this so this is a shaved look too, nice and smooth. Um, same thing as the other side. Uh, it would look stupid with one side with seams and one without, right? Uh, so that's it for Monday. Well, not for Monday, but that's so far. This is an update on that. And, uh, all right, take it easy. What's up, guys? I think I just went screaming past the point of no return. Uh, I'm scribed. I took my zip blade, and I sort of went in between the two, and I cut the steel out. Um, I'm relief cut up to this point. Now I'm going to take all these zip screws off, and I'm going to cut for my allowance on my flange and I'm going to flange this whole edge all the way down. Um, I'm all reliefed into this one. That's all reliefed cut. Uh, I know I'm going to be doing a lot of welding on this and it's going to be real slow going because I'm going to have to hit it, cool it, hit it, cool it because it's all it's wasted. So, Other than that, i got to make it work. Do my best. Um, there's a little bit of a there's a little bit of a bow here, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this to suck in a little bit tighter. Probably am, because I know I probably have to roll this lip up a little bit. And since I am going to uh, butt weld this, I can actually take a little bit off of it and, and pull this panel down a little tighter. And uh, that should help out, but pass the point of no return. Um, and it is what it is, so that's what I'm going to do now. Uh, Got to get rid of all these zip screws. Uh, like I said, measure for my allowance and my flanger and stop flanging that edge. All right, guys, see you in a bit. Hi, right, guys. Uh, I cut for my uh, my allowance for my uh, my flanger, and now I'm going to stop flanging. Um, this may or may not work. Well, who the hell knows? pretty good at the editing. I got music now. Music! Look out, Steven Spielberg! See how thin that is? when I get this flange in here, it'll stiffen it up a bit. It's 
It's gonna get funky right here because I got all I got like this uh, this concave uh, section of steel, just like from here to here. 